we go. All right. Well, first of all, it's amazing to see everyone in person again. And we just want to say a huge thank you to Wireless LAN Pros for getting the WLPC back on in person. I don't know about the rest of you, but we've all missed it. So thank you very much, Wireless LAN Pros. We are. Woo! We are so extremely excited to be here, guys, and honored at the same time. We will be looking out for these green badges to give all of you a hug. <laughs> well, uh, so very quickly, who are we? You know, we're going to break all the keys rules, but I'm Matt and this is Mac. Together, we're both product uh, marketing and ECSE now at Echohow. So what we wanted to do today was to invite you to the virtual Echohow bar, and we wanted to bring back an old but gold analogy of how Wi-Fi is just like going to the bar. So. Without further ado, let's take a look, a little peek inside the Echohau bar. And what do we see that we've got here? Well, we've got the bartender on the right serving the drinks. Oh, who's this gonna be? This is gonna be our access point. And then we take a look at who we got at the bar. We've got a couple of Wi-Fi clients. We've got a very lovely lady there in a yellow dress, and she's at the bar right now and she's ordering a drink. But how is she paying for this drink? She's paying using coins. So maybe this could be like our Wi-Fi clients, but this could be like a legacy client, you know, transferring data over the air really slow. And then we've got a guy, cool looking guy in the red shirt, and he's in the queue, but he's not actually being served just yet. He's waiting to get served. So these are our Wi-Fi clients. And then we've got a nice lady in the background jamming to some music with her guitar. And this is like our noise in the background. So how is Wi-Fi like going to the bar? Well, we can see here, you know, life right now at the bar would be pretty nice. The Wi-Fi clients, they're not gonna have to wait too long to get served at the bar. The bartender's gonna be able to serve the drinks to the, bar, the people at the bar fairly quickly. But what happens a little bit later on at the bar, and oh my gosh, what has happened now? Well, we've got a lot more people at the bar, and a lot more people trying to get served at the bar with the bartender being our access point. And what do we see now? We've got multiple different clients all trying to pay in different ways. We've got a silver fox at the back. He's there, he's ready to pay with his Apple Pay, but you know, he can't get to the bar. He's got all of these people in the queue in front of him. And again, we've got the lady at the bar with her change ready to pay, but she's taking her time and she's holding up everyone else at the bar. So the other thing that we've got here is that nice lady with just a single guitar in the background, that background noise, she's gone now. And a rock band's turned up. And with the rock band, what's happened? Our noise has gone up as well. So it's been getting a, a much more noisy environment. It's much harder to talk to your peers. You're waiting in line for longer. You just want to get to the bartender, order your drink. But this poor bartender, look at him. He's frying his drinks everywhere, trying to serve all of these clients. So what can we do in this situation to make things better at the bar? Come on, shout out, what do we do? Another bartender. Remember earlier that guy was telling us how easy it is to do capacity? Well, <clears throat> this is what we do. You know, we bring in another bartender now. We've got everyone at the bar is much, much happier. They can get to the bartender, they can order their drinks, they can pay fast, they can get on and off the network nice, nice and fast, and they can get their drinks. Well, this was thinking about Wi-Fi in a very you know, simple, fun, high-level way. And we thought it was a bit of a fun analogy. But you know, we decided we couldn't just come up here and just have all the fun. Why not break it down and get a little bit technical as well? So let's talk about channel utilization. What we see here is channel utilization, right? On the left-hand side, it's channel utilization. On the right-hand side, it's channel utilization. We see that on the left, it's between like zero and 10%. And on the right, it's a capture from a beacon. And we see that it's around 36%. On the left, we had a bunch of our lovely, amazing ECSE design students walking around and capturing survey data on the third floor. And that's what they came up with, zero to 10%. On the right, I was doing a quick cheeky capture with Matthew, uh, peeking into a QBSS element of the beacon. And access points tell us that we have 36%. Do you know why? Why do we have this disparity in channel utilization? Anyone? Location. Location. 
Okay, so if I had all the students in the room and they are reporting, well, the Eka House sidekick with Spectrum Analysis reporting 0% or, or 3% of channel utilization and the access point in the same room is reporting 36, it's in the same room. Any other ideas? Sensitivity, okay, cool. Do you cycle as well, we had a shout out. Oh, and that's a good shout out. So let's move to the next slide. And let's discuss a difference between a channel utilization as reported by the access point versus a channel utilization as captured with a spectrum analyzer. So spectrum analyzer built into Ekerhaus Sidekick is a layer one device. All we look at is the physical active Wi-Fi and non-Wi-Fi transmissions. That's all we look at. So if there is something in the air, it's being considered as channel utilization on layer one. How does Wi-Fi work, guys? What are the criteria for Wi-Fi access points to determine if the medium is free or not? What is it? There are three things, or oh, four. Let's say there are three things. What are those things? What are the things that are stopping my AP from sending data? Signal detect. Signal detect, okay. Very good, what is the other thing? So first, Keith says signal detect, preamble detect. What is the other thing that stops us from sending data? ED, energy detect, very good. So these two things, signal detect, Wi-Fi traffic, and energy detect, non-Wi-Fi traffic, are being captured by our layer one device, aka how Satkik, spec on. And on top of that, as part of layer two channel utilization, we also have devices sitting on contention timers, right? We have contention window, we have duration ID, nav timers. If our clients want to send something and they cannot because of they are sitting on contention timers, it's also considered as channel utilization from the layer two perspective. So you may have heard of the uh, CSMA, CA, or AKA, DCF, or AKA the game, but well, we're gonna break it down into four steps and we're gonna try and make it relevant to how Wi-Fi is at the bar. So step one, you know, we're itching to get my drink at the bar, but what do we have to do? We have to select a contention window, random slot time. Well, that's pretty much, you know, you roll in the dice, or if you're at the bar, you're picking your position in the queue. And then what do we do next? We move on to step two. And we're thinking, hmm, is there anyone else out there? Anyone else trying to talk to the bartender at the same time? And if I detect that there is, I have to wait. You know, if I wasn't as polite as what I am, like Wi-Fi is, you might be trying to, hey, I'm just gonna shout. Try and shout over the people who arrest me at the, uh, in the queue to get to the bartender. If you do that, you're at risk that you're the, you know, the uh, doorman might come and grab you, pull you to the back of the queue, because you can't shout over people in Wi-Fi. You know, it's a very polite protocol. So we've got to listen. If it's clear, it's good. Then we can move on to step three, Mac. Exactly, so we are checking, are we the first person in the queue? Because we are super polite, exactly as the Wi-Fi protocol. We realize that there are just three guys in front of us and we have to wait for them to get their drinks first in order for us to place our order, right? Because we are super extremely polite. So we are waiting there, passively waiting on a contention timer for our turn to happen, at which time we are so extremely excited. There are like two queues, queue in the middle, queue to my left, I'm so itching to get my drink that I shout to the bartender, Mr. Bartender, bartender, give me two beers, please. At the same time, the guy to my left shouts a different order, Mr. Bartender, give me two glasses of wine. We shout on top of each other and bartenders, both of them, they look at each other. They didn't understand what we tried to say. So we are not going to get our drink, right? We are not going to get our drink. We've wasted all that time in the queue and we are not getting that beer or that wine. At the same time, a security officer comes over to me, grabs me by my arm saying, Mac, this is a fine establishment. You are not shouting here at our bartenders. As a punishment, go back to the queue. But the queue now is twice as, as long because it's a rush hour, so we have more and more people coming in and I need to wait again until I even try to put my order in. <laughs> so while I'm waiting to, to order something, I'm waiting on contention timer. This is layer two channel utilization. When bartender gives up drinks to people that want to order it, people are drinking it, this is layer one channel utilization. So what is the conclusion? Well, the conclusion is when you see sustained layer two channel utilization that's reported by the access point, but you have layer one spectrum utilization measured with the spectrum analyzer, of course, your trusty psychic is low. It means that we have tons of contention and not much good Wi-Fi traffic. And we're stealing a tiny little bit of extra time just because, you know, 
we're a vendor now and we have got an event this evening and Keith says you know we should be telling you why you should be coming to our event tonight and Ekahal we are hosting a casino night out in the courtyard and we're hosting we've got some free drinks some free food and we're gonna be put we've got a DJ a whole ton of free swag there's no sales pitch just come along have a good time enjoy the casino night and have fun and give us a hug thank you very much